us both, and if you can't, I will be able to uh, turn them up sexually. Oh, oh, getting yeah, no, no. I can hear myself twice. No, that's not good. I think it's my mic. I think so. All right. Well, in the bottom, we do have Mr. BC and Cod. Watch his stream quite often, also known as Trudy. Nice. Heck yes. Very, very cool guy. Uh, in the top of the red Protoss, by the way, for the people that don't know. The blue Zerg, Akula. Never met him before. We'll see how this game turns out, though. Zerg is a pretty fun race. Yeah, buddy. Well, everybody, this is BC and Palomino and Colton in the house, and we're going to go ahead and uh, do some com com commentating shenanigans for the... Uh, the Team BC and Bronze open house. This is going to be the first matchup, and I do believe if I if I go ahead and tab over to the tournament, I do believe it's a best of three. We're going to start off with the best of three, um, and so both these players. A lot of times tournaments start off with best of one. A lot of times it's best of one for a lot of the a lot of the tournament um, um, these days. At least with these smaller tournaments, it's pretty much the uh, meta game in in that sense, and so. Um, I did want to make it a point to put his, uh, put a good amount of best of threes so that we can uh, follow these guys uh, on their own uh, and, ha and they can all have a nice little, nice little journey as they try to micro and macro their hearts out. <laughs> BC and Cod bringing a, uh, bringing a friendly little mineral over here, going to hand it to a drone, maybe. <laughs> nah, he's going to run away with it. Yeah, I, I bet in a... Uh, you, you don't yeah I, I bet it, it it becomes a it can become a pretty e easy habit to start to do that and also um it's always it's always silly when uh in in games when you see the scouting worker grab some minerals from uh from their opponent it's kind of like a it's kind of like they're sticking their tongue out in their face and we're seeing the pylon going down uh, at the natural and at the third this is a really interesting move uh that i've that i haven't seen before by bc and Cotter. really by uh i haven't really seen this before do you think this is going to be worth worth a delay uh, it's going to keep the Zerg from expanding for at least a good 50 seconds, uh, which does put him behind quite a bit, especially if he's going for a, a really hard free base build. So it could be a good thing, but then again, it does put him behind 200 minerals. So yeah, excellent. This drone is just poking away, and all all uh, Akula has right now is this drone to poke away, and that's going to take a lot of time to get those hits points down. We do have the pool down, but no Zerglings are are in production yet. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see some gas and then some uh, some really fast roach aggression, as I think this is this one pylon is paying off. Uh, is going to put is going to put Beast in a in a very in a very nice position with as his economy is going to start booming. All right, so our first set of uh, zerglings come out here, and take down this this pile on here. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> maybe he'll try to take the expand around right now. If you're going for a three base build, is when you're going to want to expand. So he's going to run over there and he's going to be like, "Oh no, another pile on." <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, you yeah. seeing Cod being uh, way ahead right now, just in general terms of having everything before the zerg can. Yeah, I really like that move a lot. Um, it, it cost him 200 minerals. However, this expansion is yeah, it's gonna be he's gonna have a demanding lead as his expansion comes up before his opponent. We do have a sneaky little probe in the upper left corner. Might uh, most likely gonna put down a proxy somewhere, which means we might see some two base shenanigans. It is a possibility. Uh, he's gonna be very uh, very far ahead, so a two base could even turn into just a a poke that wins the game. Right on. Um, He's going to be able to take this stuff very, fairly safe. He could even delay his Zealot long enough to get, you know, a plus one upgrade on his Forge or something like that because of how safe he is right now. He knows the other player only has Zerglings out and only one expansion. Yeah, and at 538, we are seeing the third plop down, and this is great timing for the third. And I think if uh, I think if we get into about eight minutes, nine minutes, that's going to go ahead and give the Zergi enough time to uh, to to do more than just catch up to go ahead and get that that needed three base economy versus a two base Protoss. Oh, lots of leans uh, just being made by Akula here. Don't know what he's planning on doing with these. There's not much he can do with these. Um, much would uh, you want to make drones earlier on in the game, but it's uh, you know, maybe he's going on for some early aggression. Yeah, we're seeing a cent. We're not seeing any uh, any gateway units out. Uh, we're not seeing the standard spanner, zealot, stalker, sentry, or or any kind of combination like that. 
He did just chrono his gateway, so I think he meant to make this. Oh open. no. Rut row. That's no fun. Alrighty, so the standard expanded so far. We do have Roach Warren going halfway down. A nice pack of Zerglings are going to dance around this little shark. This little shark seeing exactly what's going on. If only someone would go ahead and commandeer the shark, put a little security cam on him, and they'd get a free, a free scout uh, um, on the situation. Two of these cannons can be more than enough, but it does look like there is a gap here. I don't know how much damage these links are going to be able to do. A lot of links came. I mean, we only, there are only three in the base, but uh, three links can efficiently take down two or three probes. Yeah, we're not seeing this, we're not seeing the speed quite yet. Our speed is a little delayed, but it, uh, he did get in the base, so he is taking a lot of mining time off the trio. Nice little gap he's fighting. Absolutely. Here with yeah, yeah right. buddy. Getting those four gates up for maybe a little bit of harassment, maybe going into a robo, never know. Yeah, I would I think we're seeing very standard play by BCN Cod. He's gonna get this plus one and these four gates up, and then I would think he'd go ahead and put a few warpins of uh, zealots, depending on how it goes as he goes ahead and engages his third with that proxy pylon at uh, just about at the top middle in that area ish. And yeah, I think we're definitely gonna see a robo, but it looks like I'm completely wrong. We're seeing a few more gates, a few more pylons, one gas right now. So this may be a very uh maybe a very uh, heavy zealot army. Gonna see quite a or another zealot pop out of the gateway. Um, we do have a little push coming from Akula here with a few roaches. Yeah, these roaches are gonna be able to do. A, I think these roaches are gonna be able to do a lot of damage. As they are gonna actually be able to outrange these cannons. They just go ahead and sit back and uh, and just pew pew away. And it's gonna and it might take a while for Chiron to get these to get uh, these range uh, units up. Warp gate is out, so we are gonna be able to see these five six gates come into play here. Uh, might be able to actually hold this off now since he is going to have stalkers. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And at the main, at the main of, pro, of of Akula, we do have the layer up, which is going to go ahead and give Zergi a lot more teching options. He no longer needs to stick with the Roach or Zergling army. He can go ahead and complement that with some of those, some of those stronger, more strategic units. Going to lose a few Roaches here off the start. Oh, and everything gets down. Ooh, a tough blow. These these roaches are going to be able to just go ahead and walk in. Two more pylons on the way, a third pylon on the way. These stalkers need to be pretty careful, but, and these probes are in a lot of trouble. Run, probes. All right, so these stalkers might be able to hold off a little bit of this damage. I don't know. There's a lot of... There's a, another round of roaches on the way, and I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if is going to be able to muster up enough gateway units. He's gonna be able to pick up a few things. He did get the the cannons repowered, although they did get just shut down now. Um, everything unpowered. He does have the five gates still. Maybe enough to. Uh, I'm almost getting that wall know. off. That would have been nice. Um, it does look like it does look like the natural is down. So right now, BCN Cod has no probes on mining. He's gonna go ahead and try to do a little surround here. See if he see if he can uh, see if he can get rid of these roaches and lick his wounds. Trying to outrange these roaches, uh, he's trying to put buildings and probes in front of him. That way, he can just sit back with his stalkers and free fire, which is actually a very good idea. He can uh, he now has the cybercore back up, so more stalkers will be on the way. Hopefully, he did just attack his own gateway. <laughs> yeah, the stalker's there's, putting in work, putting yeah, some damage, but oh, and there's the money warping. But also, there's some uh, there's some more roaches on the way. He and is also out of probes. Yeah. GG here guys. Yeah, unfortunately the economy is a bust. The army is a bust. GGGB. Right. GGGB. GGGB indeed.